This is the Wharton iGel GE Innovation Water Technology Edition of Green is Good here in beautiful downtown San Francisco. And we're so honored to have with us today Heiner Markoff. He's the president and CEO of GE Water and Power and Water and Process Technologies. Welcome to Green is Good, Heiner. John, thank you for having me. It's great we're to be so here. We're so honored to have you. You're one of the great hosts today. And for our listeners and viewers out there to learn more about Heiner's great work with his colleagues, please go to www.gewater.com. Before we get talking about this important conference and what we're doing here today, talk a little bit about your background. How did you become this very, get this very important position at the, of course, the iconic and amazing brand GE to be leading on this critical issue of water? Yeah, I've been, uh, I'm, I'm a long time GE guy. Okay. So I've been with the company almost 22 years wow. uh, in different uh, businesses and different positions. Um, a lot of that in, in the plastics area when we, when we were in that business before wow. we sold it. And, and I've been uh, leading the water business for the last six and a half years. And a lot of what we do is really developing advanced and, 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 and marketing advanced technologies uh, water treatment technologies to address uh, you know the, the the challenges around the world with regard to water scarcity, uh, the water quality aspect of it, helping our customers, industrial as well as municipal, to meet you know, environmental regulations and 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 drive productivity in their operations. So it's a fascinating, very challenging industry. Uh, where we are active in, and um, and this part of this discussion today with a lot of thought leaders in the industry is very timely to address some of the challenges specifically here in California. Right. Well, let's let's be honest. You are running one of the leading brands in the world in terms of cutting edge technology, and it's not it's by design that Wharton and GE came together to host this important conference. We're sitting in California. We're in Northern California, specifically close to Silicon Valley, one of the bastions of, of innovation and technology in the world. And we're talking about water here and the, and the water crisis, but also opportunities here in this, in this drought-stricken uh, uh, you know, state. Talk a little bit about some of the cooler and, 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 and really cutting-edge technologies that GE Water and Power has that can help us and give us hope that we can solve this problem and we can fix this in our generation. Yeah, I think the, the good news up front, technologies are available to Great. do this. And it's been implemented in, in, in parts of California and parts of other parts of the world. If you look at places like Singapore or Israel, which have faced uh, very challenging uh, you know, uh, situations with, with regard to water, water right. supply. Um, the technologies that, we, we, you know, there's several angles to tackle this problem. You know, one is, is just conservation and driving and storage, driving really basic you know, measures in that respect. Right. But the other way, really where technology comes into play is uh, you know, water recycling and reuse. Okay. Uh, with, with you know advanced membrane technologies that we've developed and implemented, and we're work, working very closely with with our customers there. Uh, and the uh, and the next part is generating you know, desal you know, or desalination as another way of you know making more water more water available. But we think really the conservation part and the water reuse part are you know the more the more economic ways to address to address these, these challenges. And GE already has the technologies, like you say, the membrane technologies that will allow us to recycle and reuse gray water, black water, and, and waters that exist out there. We have supply, oh, there are more than a thousand facilities around the world that use our membrane technologies for water reuse, both you know, mostly indirect portable reuse, but you can even, you know, if you looked at Singapore, for instance, they even uh, you know, pretty potable uh, you know, water. So, Heiner, share a little bit with our listeners and our audience around the world, because our audience for Green is Good is not only here in the United States, but it's, it's a worldwide audience. What are the recycling rates of water and the reuse rates of water approximately in, in Israel and Singapore? Yeah. I think Israel is right now almost at 80 or 90 percent. Uh, Singapore has is between I'd say 35 to 40 at this stage with a clear path that they've laid out to get to 60 and um, here overall in the United States we're somewhere between six and eight which is so so there is there is ways to drive this to improve this proven ways uh, technology is available 
And I think we just uh, you know, have to have a, a multi-pronged approach between outreach and education, uh, yeah, between you know, policy making, incentives, to really address, the, address the, this from a, from a holistic perspective. Well, you bring up a great point. I don't, want to, I don't want to get too philosophical here, but Israel and Singapore, you just laid out, are literally many, many steps ahead of us in terms of their recycling and reuse rates. You're here today messaging this. This is important, the continuing messaging of the hope and the technology that exists. Why... Why does the media not cover the fact that the technology exists? And what is the pushback here in the United States, both on a regional and national level? If the technologies exist, why aren't we already at 30 or 40 percent? Is it social? Is it political? Is it cultural? What, what is, what's, what's the pushback? I, I think it's all of it. Okay, okay, that's fair <laughs> so, so we, gotta, we, we have, I think we've got to have to have a political come together okay. of minds to really develop the will to do this okay. and to and to drive implementation of these measures and and technologies that's one the second is is clearly a social and slash you know cultural thing where we just have to overcome the thought that we reuse water but uh, but again the technologies are there um, to get any wastewater to a drinking water standards and and there are you know, you know, a lot of uh, 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 you know, technologies and, and measures that, uh, that, that support that and, and make sure that health requirements are met. Um, so, so I think the, the, the technology is available. We need to develop the, the, the political will and we need to, do, need to educate mm. and reach out to make sure people understand what's available, what's best available technology and uh, also need to understand that these technologies are safe and used around and being used around the world. So really, you're bringing a message to our listeners and to the and to the and to the audience today. This is truly a message of hope. The technology exists. It's just now overcoming some of these other barriers and hurdles. Right, and we continue to do, to work on on technology developments to get to the next level. And a lot of it is related to improving the cost. You know, getting more cost competitive, competitive because sure. at the end of the day, it goes into you know whatever all of us have to pay for right. for water. Right. But uh, but no, the, you know, take, you know, continued in investments con in developing the next generation of membranes, the next generation of energy efficient uh, 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 ways of of reusing, recycling, and treating water. Uh, so uh, uh, I I think the basics are there, the hope is there, and I think we gotta. We got to educate, reach out, and drive political right. will in our society to make it happen. Well, Heiner, you're the person to make it happen. I'm going to leave you with the last word. This is your conference. I'm going to leave you with our listeners and our viewers with the last word before we sign off today. So, given where we are and what's going on and what you know, and because you have visibility not only here in the United States but around the world, share what you think the, 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 the couple of years ahead for GE and water innovation and technology has in store for all of us. You know, I, I think the, the message here is um, innovation will help solve the drought problems that we have really? around the world. We, we're investing it. The industry is investing in it. We're working together with our customers, both on the industrial side as well as on the, as on the municipal side, to really improve these technologies, to, uh, to implement those. Uh, make them cost efficient, more cost efficient every day and uh, help address the challenges that we have. Because if you really look at it, water is a prerequisite for economic growth, for population growth. And if you overlay maps, and I think you had another interview right. uh, you know, with Aqueduct before, if you overlay these maps, a lot of the areas of economic development and huge population growth you know, are areas that lie in, 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 in regions with severe droughts. Right. So we need to develop, uh, you know, we need to think about this, we need to imp develop these technologies, implement those technologies to, to continue to drive, uh, you know, uh, to progress the world. You have a thousand installations today, and I hope you have another thousand really soon. It'll make the world a better place. We really thank you for all your great work, Heiner, at GE, the leading brand in water technologies around the world. Thank you very much for our listeners out there to learn more about Heiner's great work at GE and all of GE's great work in leading technologies in water and power. 
please go to www.gewater.com. Heiner Markoff, you are truly living proof that green is good. Thank you very much. John, thank you. Thank you.